Hello and welcome back. In this video we'll discuss constitutional isomers. So isomers are different structures that have the same molecular formula. Constitutional isomers have the same molecular formula, so they have the same atoms, but they just have a different connectivity for those atoms. For example, we have these two molecules here. We have um, one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So this would be hexane. And then we have an isomer of hexane that's 2-methyl pentane. So these are constitutional isomers because they have a different connectivity of the same atoms. So as the number of carbon atoms increases, the number of constitutional isomers also increases. So, um, for example, if you have three carbons, you only have one possibility for a constitutional isomer. If you have four carbons, there are two. Five carbons are three. Six is five. Seven is nine possibilities. So nine different ways those can be connected. Eight carbons has 18, and then it just increases exponentially from there. Nine carbons is 35. 10 carbons is 75. 15 is 4,347, and so on. So the more carbons you have, the more ways you can arrange those carbons is isomers. So to be able to recognize isomers versus the same compound, one way to do that is to try to flip them around in space and see if you can put them back on top of each other. And this is where a model kit will prove especially helpful. But another way to do it is to simply name them. If the molecules have exactly the same name, then they're the same compound. And that can be demonstrated here. So one, two, three, four, five. This is three methyl pentane. And over here on the right, one, two, three, four, five, three methyl pentane. So if you name those molecules and they have the same name, they're the same compound. <coughs> So you can see here, by comparing those same two molecules, if I rotate between carbons 4 and 5, rotate that methyl down, and rotate the whole molecule up a bit, I could slide it over on top of this molecule on the left and see that <clears throat> I could get the same molecule. So for each of these pairs of compounds, we want to identify whether they are constitutional isomers are two representations of the same compound. Now again, you could uh, make a model of these and compare, but another way to do that is to simply name them. Okay, so on the left for A, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have two comma three dimethyl pentane. On the right, one, two, three, four, five, I have two, three dimethyl pentane. So these molecules are the same. Here at the bottom, uh, let's find our longest path. One, two, three, four, five, or we could say um, one, two, three, four, five. So we could go either way with this. Uh, we want to have the most substituents, so we're going to go along the blue path. So that molecule's parent is pentane. So I have a 2,4-dimethyl and a 3-ethyl. So that would be 3-ethyl, 2,4-dimethyl, pentane. Okay, and the molecule on the right, one, two, three, four, five. I have a two, I have a three ethyl, two, four dimethyl pentane. So again, those molecules are the same. Okay, so if they have the same name, the same exact name, they're the same molecule.